welcome back to my channel you guys today we're going to talk about my favorite subject dating and i wrote some notes down because my adhd is yeah even though i took an addy i mean i still struggle with focus so bear with me here so what i realized about the dating world over the years is that it's all about subjugating somebody it's a toxic cycle of making women especially women humbling them putting them in a groveling begging position for love and attention and it's it's becoming the reoccurring topic on tiktoks on youtube and i think women are starting to realize that they are tired of the word love and duty because they know that this has become a way for men to anchor them down into a relationship that's going absolutely nowhere it's all about teaching her a lesson that's what it's become you saw what happened with bumble how bumble was was telling women celibacy is not the answer what are you kidding me have you seen the dating world men that have no business being in the dating world are on dating apps literally lying to women for months even years about what their intentions are and what's even crazier about this is that women don't really realize how much it's affecting them until they're completely out of the dating scene they've blocked the numbers they've deleted the guys then they start realizing, wow, the weight that's been on my shoulders has been from dating. <laughs> okay, so what I've also seen is that when these men perceive you as being healthy or balanced, they want to knock you off the equilibrium. They want to knock you out. They want to knock you off the equilibrium so bad because they know they're not balanced. They know that they haven't harnessed the feminine and the male energy in a healthy manner to which they can date concisely. They can date in a way where they're not destroying the well-being of women. And it's sad. Overall, it's an abusive and toxic cycle. That's all it's come to. And men continue to perpetuate it. They continue it. And I've seen this stupid argument about the man versus bear turn into the man versus tree. I haven't even wasted my time to look up what this even means. But let's get one thing straight. After a while, talking to that tree as a man, let's be real. You're going to take that tree, chop it down, and turn it into a home. Or you're going to take the leaves... And, and make shoes or an outfit out of it. Or, or you're going to find a way to use that tree for shade or shelter. Let's, let's keep it a bean. That's what you're going to do. So this argument about woman versus tree makes absolutely no sense to me. It's, it's ridiculous. And I haven't even checked it out, but I, I have an idea of what that is. <laughs> okay. Now, Let's be real. The majority of men have practiced conflict desensitization. They do not want to they do not want to get into arguments. They do not want to get into conflicts with women. They rather walk away, ignore you in its totality. They do not care. They want to ignore what's happening because they see that they're losing the battle. And I appreciate how women are finally taking a step back and saying, no, you know what? It's better if you guys just date each other. <laughs> and you know what? Women are tired of being gaslit into relationships and out of relationships. Because it seems like it's either, woe is me, you can't appreciate a good man like me, or you need to, you need to leave because you aren't enough for me you aren't enough for me so you need to go or you clearly feel like you're not enough for me so you need to leave like it's a it's a lose lose it's a constant lose lose for women i believe that women are subconsciously and unconsciously finally putting their foot down 
and saying, no, this, is, this isn't right. You're going to suck the life force out of me. Women already come in this world being. They bring life into this world. Men have to make a life for themselves. And I don't think men for a long time have appreciated that part of womanhood. They, they haven't. They, so the thing is, men look at feminism as a way to, so men exploit feminism. Okay, let's be real. They look at it as, well, if she could do it all, cook, clean, work, do all these things, have great communication, be a great lover, all this stuff. What do I have to do? And I can say this was happening long before the dating apps. Why do you think women decided, I want to work? I want a job. Because men didn't appreciate women when they were in the home doing all the trad wife stuff. Men looked at it like, well, that's something you're supposed to do and what, right? So women decided, let me get a job. Because in case this guy decides he wants to take, he wants to take his money and run with the next girl, I'm not gonna be here stuck looking dumb. And men didn't like that. Men just want the power. And women are realizing that every single day. They're looking at these videos every day and realizing, oh no, I cannot be left in the gutter dealing with this guy. I cannot leave my kids stranded behind a man. I have to do something about it. So where's the win? Where's the win? Very few men appreciate women. And what women are doing is they kind of want to be in the middle spot, right? Most women want to be in the middle spot. They want to be able to be a traditional woman, but they also want to be able to take care of themselves just in case you change your mind. But even that is looked down on. Like everything needs to be black and white for them. And that sucks for us. That sucks for us. Luckily, if I feel like, and even though I'm polyamorous, I'm not dating right now, I'm in a relationship with someone that allows me to do whatever it is I want to do with my life. But while I was dating, actively dating, I met men that just wanted, to me, wanted me to be black and white. Like either you're a trad wife or you're an independent woman. And I just didn't understand why they couldn't appreciate the best of both worlds. Because I feel like in both sides, they feel like they're losing some type of power. If you're in the trad wife role, then they feel like they can topple over you, control you. And if you decide that you want a divorce, then you can take half, right? Most of these dudes are broke, but whatever. And if you're a feminist and you have a job and you have your shit together, then at some point you're going to out earn them. You're going to beat them in the competition. Oh, and they can't have that. Now you're... You're overpowering them, and that's just completely unacceptable. <laughs> Where's the win again? I think that women now are not feeling guilty about saying, fuck you to the mindfuck. <laughs> They're, they are not letting love and duty be what keeps them anchored anymore. And that is the best place to be in. And becoming a more independent person is the only route that makes sense at this point. I've seen dating apps crash. I'm seeing people going on dates and women, well, I've seen women go on dates and go, yeah, um, it's okay. This isn't for me. And men completely lose it after he probably called her a B word because he felt some kind of way about her saying, it's okay, I'm gonna drive myself to the date. Oh, why are you being a B? I can't take you to the date, I can't pick you up. Uh, not with that language and that attitude. Women are scared. It doesn't matter if they're young or old. And, and the fact that so many men keep relying on their wallets, especially the older men, oh, I got money, so she's gonna love me. She's gonna think, she's gonna love me for my personality. Let's be real. These 20, 30 something year olds that are dating these guys that are in their 50s and 60s, they don't give a shit about your personality. They're trying to get that check, especially because you're flaunting it. They look at you like these dirty, gross men. They don't want to be with you. Case in point. They don't, they, they calling y'all nasty, man. Y'all swabbing now, y'all got going on. Y'all just nasty old men, bro. 
Yeah. So state to state. And these young guys, they think that because they have muscles and they're kind of decent and bad, that, that means that they can talk to you any kind of way and they look at you like you're a dime a dozen. That's not that's not impressing us. Especially now that we know that 72% of men don't even go get tested. They don't go to the doctor. They don't really know where the labia is. They don't even know where the cl is. It's not impressing us. We know that you guys are dumb as rocks. And the only time you guys actually learn something is through trial and error. After three divorces, a bunch of kids, after getting half of your, your money taken away, after losing something of significance towards you that's when you actually feel but the fact of the matter is most of y'all have flat attachment styles you could care less you could care less what happens to the woman next to you after that date you won't even text her to see if she got home safe and if you do you're being kind of you know pragmatic you're 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 in a way trying to you're trying to set the tone of you actually caring about her but you don't really you just want to seem like that guy until you get what you want and then it's deuces so men being mad at women who are keeping their cooches to themselves that's wild because on one hand you're saying that women are easy and that women need to choose better and now that women are choosing themselves it's a problem. Oh, they're selfish. They don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, right. Choose a side. Because the, the side that women are choosing is celibacy. Is It's abstaining. Which means you'll have to abstain or you'll have to go to a brothel. And that's okay. I give, hey, I appreciate the pick me's. And the women in the naked hustle because if it wasn't for them do you know how many of us would be getting graped left and right if it weren't for the women in the naked hustle the pygmies i thank you women for sticking your necks out your bodies out on the line to be with these men who are ruining society and with that said thank you for watching if you like this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll check you guys out in the next one.